Right, here's a bit of an instructional video of how to um, calibrate the CX20 transmitter. So first up you've got to have your throttle in the 50% position. Turn SWB switch down to the 1 position. Hold up your right elevator trim and turn your radio on. Alright, so it's done the beep beep and the three lights come on up the front there. So what you got to do now is turn your control sticks um, from each corner to corner about four or five times. Put your transmitter throttle stick into the middle position again turn your auxiliary one switch trying to do this all the way to the left all the way to the right then back to the zero position same with auxiliary one all the way to the left all the way to the right and back to the middle position turn off SWB switch and your transmitter is ready to use right here's a video on how to um, just turn on your Chearson CX20 and to go into um, compass calibration mode so first up um, you plug in your battery and what you've got to do as soon as you plug in the battery as soon as you plug in your battery Turn your transmitter on and Have your throttle down to the the base setting and immediately Put your right hand aileron stick over to the bottom right hand corner and then uh, on the quadcopter the actual you'll get a red and yellow light flashing here that means it goes into calibration mode and then you um, then you go through the process in the book of um, turning the quadcopter around on its own axis about five or six times and then as soon as you've done that you point the nose down to the ground and turn it on that axis five or six times put it back down onto the ground and unplug your battery so I'll just go through that process here now so remember as soon as you plug in the battery lead turn on your transmitter straight away and and then down to the right hand corner okay and then you can let that go and then what you do you've got your red and yellow light flashing over here on your left hand side so then you can go into calibration mode um, you turn your quadcopter around on its own axis about five times I'm not doing it here I haven't got the room and I can't move the camera and then you tilt it up on its end and turn it around five times place it back down onto your onto a flat surface disconnect your battery and Bob's your uncle turn your transmitter off and it saves those settings and you must remember also when you've done your calibration um, if you go to a different flying site um, you've got to do the calibration again for that site so that it can get the GPS lock for that particular site so you return to home and all that stuff will work on your CX20